My name is Grant, and you're watching the RK Series product information video. Today, I'd like to discuss the RK Series uh, ben overall benefits with you. Uh, the RK Series is available in a 42, 60 millimeter, and 85 millimeter frame size, as well as 115 and 230 volt AC single phase. Uh, we have a tapered hob, planetary, and harmonic gear options available with this unit. Uh, each product that you see before you typically comes in a package, which includes both the motor and the driver. Uh, one of the main advantages of the RK series in general is that it is an AC input drive. Uh, now, the advantage of an AC input drive has more to do with the bus voltage going out to the motor. Before you, you can see a torque speed curve of uh, a stepping motor uh, with torque on the vertical uh, Y axis and speed on the horizontal X axis. So as you can see, as the speed increases, the torque will gradually decrease. Now, when we take a look at the different bus voltages uh, going to the motor, we can see that the torque uh, speed curve is going to be manipulated at different voltages. And again, um, we can see a 3.6 volt DC curve, a 12 volt, a 24, 60, and so on. Uh, since the RK series is an AC input voltage driver, uh, typically it's going to uh, drive the motor at a much higher bus voltage. Uh, therefore, it's going to represent close to what we see at the 160 volt DC curve and we can see that that pretty much maintains almost a flat torque speed curve as we approach the uh, 10,000 pulse per second speed range or about uh, 1200 RPM. Now um, this is possible because of uh, something called the winding saturation time constant. Um, typically when the winding is energized it's going to take a specified amount of time to fully saturate or fully energize that winding. Um, so we can see here this line at a lower voltage, um, we can see that it's going to take about three, three, three and a half time constants to energize 100% of the windings. Um, and this is basically the amount of time it takes to, for the current to energize the winding. But as we increase the voltage, um, that voltage will push the current through uh, the winding faster, thus making the amount of time to completely energize the winding much shorter and that allows us ultimately to get much better performance out of the motor. Now when we're comparing uh, an RK566 motor to a CRK566 motor, we can see that uh, the, the torque speed curve on the left, which is the RK series, has a much better pullout torque compared to the one on the right, which is the CRK series. Now keep in mind the CRK series is 24 volt DC. So we can see as we approach the 1000 RPM range, it's going to lose most of its torque, and that's mainly to do with the amount of voltage going uh, to the motor. But when we look at the, uh, the, the RK series, we can see uh, approaching the 1000 RPM, we're still pretty uh, consistent with uh, the amount of uh, torque that we have, which is uh, very close to what is at the holding torque. So the torque speed curve pulls out a lot longer, and that is a big advantage um, potentially for you and your application when considering uh, AC input voltage or DC input voltage to the driver. Now the RK series also has a feature called micro or, uh, smooth drive. And basically what smooth drive is, is mi um, micro stepping for the user automatically. And what this can potentially mean is the customer doesn't have to go out and buy a very expensive pulse generating unit. Uh, they can use a, a fairly simple one that doesn't have to get up to too high of a frequency because this will automatically micro step for the user. Um, it allows sure, ensures low vibration and low noise and um, operates at low speeds by internally executing micro stepping. And what that means for the user is they don't have to adjust the resolution or the number of pulses being sent out, nor do they have to adjust the frequency because when you do micro stepping, typically you're gonna have to adjust the frequency simply for the fact that you'll have to maintain that speed. So you're gonna have to double your pulse rate or by however many times micro-stepping, you'll have to uh, gradually uh, substitute and then increase or based on that number. So when we're looking at the, uh, the RK series, um, I do have a unit here in front of us today, and I want to go ahead and show that to you. I want to go over the basic connections of the unit. Um, we can see that uh, we have motor connections, power connections, and then we have our 20-pin uh, I.O. connector. Now this is where all of the uh, control signals are going to be um, connected, basically, which is down here. Again, we have the motor connections. We have the power connections. Now these are all terminals, so you can terminate right onto it. 
then we have this high density connector for all of our control. Uh, we do have pre-made cable options as you can see here, the CC20D1, and we also have terminal options uh, for those of you who do not, not want to solder their own connection. Taking a closer look here, um, we can see that the actual physical connections on this chart before you, um, we have a pulse and direction signal, or we also have uh, the capability of adjusting that to two pulse mode, which I can show you via this selector switch here. And also want to go through the different uh, options. So one pulse mode versus two pulse mode. One pulse mode is uh, pretty common here in the United States. We're going to send out one pulse signal and then a direction higher a little bit. Um, we can adjust that to 1P and 2P. We can either be in one pulse or two pulse mode, your preference. We also have a smooth drive on and off dip switch, as well as an automatic current cutback switch, which basically when the motor is at standstill, it reduces the amount of uh, current going to the motor by 50%, and you can turn that on or off. We also have an all windings off input internally. Now that takes uh, current away from the motor and allows the user to make a, a fine-tuned adjustments or possibly save energy if they don't need the holding torque on the motor. Um, we also have a step angle select and actually going back closer uh, taking a look we have two step angle select switch so we can do up to 250 times micro stepping and those can all be adjusted via these potentiometers here the data one and data two and above those we have a run potentiometer which adjusts the run current to the motor and we also have a stop potentiometer which adjusts the stop current to the motor which is at standstill. Now finally we have two output signals which is a timing excitation. Uh, basically the timing excitation signal is going to send out one pulse back to the controller per 10 steps on the motor. This can be used for more accurate homing or uh, potentially to sort of better main uh, maintain position of where the motor is at for a rough estimate and we also have an overheat output signal so when the driver is ever in an overheat type condition it will send out an output so that the master controller would know something's wrong <clears throat> and again with these data selections we can do up to 250 times micro stepping basic step angle of this motor is 0 0.72 degrees so we can take that down to all the way to 0, 0 0.2 0.00288 degrees uh, by 250 times micro stepping. Now finally I want to go ahead and do a brief demonstration of the RK series and show its overall performance capabilities. <laughs> now because this is an AC input drive again we can get uh, very high performance and because of the 0.72 degrees stepping technology you can see at very low speeds there's hardly any vibration, very low noise, and that's a very big advantage um, depending on your application. And again, very fast response times because of the AC input and also because of the step angle. So this move is roughly at about 100 hertz, very slow speed, and it's going to break into a couple of very fast 90 degree moves, which with hardly any acceleration time at all, maybe one millisecond right here so again it's it's able to respond very quickly and uh, is a very good product for you to consider uh, for your positioning needs well I'd like to thank you for watching this video um, if you do have any questions in the future, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-GO-VEXTA or visit, visit us at uh, www.orientalmotor.com. If you have more questions or you want to find out more information about the RK series, feel free to browse the RK introduction video. My name is Grant, and thank you for watching.